All right, this is Heretic here. For all you people that are having a problem using 6-axis or setting it up to work with your tablets, I will try to show you how to get it to work and to play games either natively or to make a profile for it. Now, uh, this is my Nexus 7 tablet. I got it last Friday. I have my 6-axis controller. And if we go ahead, turn this on here. I have my 6-axis control app. Excuse me for my camera work. I'm not the greatest here. But uh, it's very simple. You have 6-axis. Um, you take your controller, you connect it to your PC. You have your Bluetooth address down here in the corner. When you download the 6-axis pair tool, you can connect your controller to the PC, enter this address here, hit OK, unplug your controller, and then you can hit Start. It'll say a text... Uh, connecting attempting connection click the home button your lights will light up and then it connects see it says client connected your controller will vibrate real quick and then you'll be good to go for using them for android go to preferences right here for games that control like natively like uh grand theft auto 3 max Payne. click on gamepad settings check off this box right here enable gamepad make sure that's checked off now, so for any games like uh, <clears throat> games that are don't have a uh, like a native support, such as like Modern Combat or uh, what other games do I have? Uh, Reckless Racing, like Sonic works by default, Grand Theft Auto works by default, Max Payne works by default, Doom works by default. For any of these emulators here, say like N64, you go here, go to Settings. Go under input settings, click on key mappings, and then key mappings again. And then right here, it gives you, you know, left, right, up, down, C left, C right. All you do is click it, like click it, and then click the button on your controller that you want to map to that. And then it's pretty much simple once you figure out a layout that you like. I, uh, let's see, I have games here. You could just load up a simple game. <clears throat> It plays no problem. These uh, Some of these original games for 64 play so smooth, just like 64 did. But uh, these play no problem whatsoever. See, I'm already at 59 stars on my pad, so it's obviously playable, no problem. But see, I'm using my analog stick. Works quite well. All the other Sorry, I only have one hand, but, you know, all the buttons work. The camera rotate, you know. Everything, both analog sticks will work. I played GoldenEye, also beat the game on GoldenEye. So, all these work, not no problem whatsoever. Now, for other games, let's see, we can exit this. Get out of here, swipe out. Let's see, we have uh, games such as CS Portable I play, Modern Combat I play, to set up a profile for this. Pretty much take a screenshot of the end game that you're playing, like uh, go to Touch Emulation here, Edit Touch Profiles, double tap, you'll see uh, it'll say Load Profile. If you already have one, you can load it to edit one you already have. Or you can click on Change Background, see like I'll just load one I already have. When you change background, it'll put, like you take a screenshot, click Change Background, and it'll come up right here. So this is my screenshot of in-game for Counter-Strike. I have my uh, left analog stick over here. You know, all my jump buttons, crouching, spectator, you know, shoot, everything like that. You can pretty much double-click here, add a button, and it'll give you all the things you need to add. You know, you just click it, whatever, and then you can move it around to wherever you want to put it. So, like, all, all the buttons are movable. There's no problem whatsoever at moving them. Uh, the analog sticks, you can click on the outside of them and see they have a size that you can like go up and down to change the size. It matters on some of the games because if it's too big, you won't get the correct sensitivity and everything. Uh, as far as that goes, no, I'm not saving changes. Once you make a profile, you click on this down arrow here and it'll give you the list of your profiles. See, game I have Modern Combat and Counter Strike. There's only two games I play without it. But uh, let's see, we have my Grand Theft Auto here. Grand Theft Auto, you don't need to do anything for. Once you connect your controller, it'll just work. Same thing with Max Payne. Um, any settings are from the actual app itself. You go into options. 
actually. This continues right from where I left off. I've been playing the game a little bit. I actually got much further on my phone than I lost my save. Kind of lost interest in playing it again, but other than that, it plays very smooth. I'm still using one hand to control, mind you. All the buttons are set just like PS2. So, right now I'm controlling with one hand. Give me, give me a break. So, you see that this play, this is on full settings right now. Everything is like buttery smooth, I have no issues doing anything. Oh, why you gotta do that? That's messed up. But yeah, pr pretty much you get the gist of it. Everything can be controlled right from the gamepad from here. You don't gotta touch the screen for anything. You can exit the game. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So. If you guys need any more help, let me know. I'll be lingering on the XDA forums. Alright, thanks. This is Heretic, and uh, I'm done with this.